Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today was a fun day. I had Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai and his son James and Derek from the Toronto Bonsai Society over to visit and they had a nice tour of my backyard and all the trees and Jay brought me an adenium. He sent me a photo of several adeniums that were given to him and he didn't have room for all of them and he asked me if I would like one and I said, well, sure. I, I always wanted to get an, another adenium. I promise I won't kill this one. And he sent me photos and said, well, which one would you like? And I, I picked out one and I thought from the photos, they were, you know, a little, a little adenium about this size. Uh, so he brought it over and I, w I was very shocked at the size of it. I'll, I'll show you the photo I originally saw of it. And now here is the actual bonsai. I'll show you that. So here it is here. It is no small desert rose, that's for sure. It is like 20 times as large as I thought it was in the photo. I, I can't believe the size of it. So thanks very much, Jay. And the person who gave it to Jay, thank you too. I'll take good care of it and you'll be able to watch it on the channel developing over the future years. Today was a really nice sunny day, up to 10 degrees Celsius. And it looks like we're having a warm spell all next week. So all the nighttime temperatures are above freezing and the daytime temperatures are up, you know, quite pleasant too. After that, I think it's going to cool down once again and maybe the real winter will hit. Last night, the temperature went down to minus two degrees Celsius, two degrees below freezing. And the greenhouse stayed at five degrees Celsius last night was the lowest temperature. So that's pretty good, a difference of seven degrees from the outside temperature to the inside temperature of the greenhouse. Today, I got a high in the greenhouse of 22 degrees Celsius. And right now, the heat is off in the greenhouse. It is 14.5 degrees Celsius. I've had the heat off all afternoon here in the greenhouse, and it's still a pleasant temperature. When the sun finally sets, I'll have to put the heat back on and keep it warm for tonight. The new adenium has seen some cold outside temperatures, so it's already lost most of its leaves. So I'm going to bring it into the plant room, get it warmed up, and hopefully, you know, keep it nice and warm for the winter. It may not regain its leaves until spring, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll take good care of it. I've got the heat turned back on in the plant room now. Derek also brought me a present when he came down. I'll show you what he got me. It is a Ming Aurelia. So here it is. Really, really cool. And he had it in fairly high humidity. So there's actually aerial roots growing sideways out of the trunk here. <laughs> so I don't know if they'll continue to grow in the greenhouse here, but uh, it's quite exciting to get this. So it'll be fun styling this over the years. I did have another Ming Aurelia a long time ago and it, my plant room was too cold for it at that time and it didn't do well. So I'll uh, try again with this one and see if we can develop it into something nice. I think it'll be a, it's a good size to kind of grow and shape. Yeah, so thanks very much, Derek. That's awesome. Here's an update to my Portulacari Afroforest. You can see that the new branches are going in quite nicely. It'll take a while before I rebuild that branch structure up top, but uh, it's on its way. It's definitely got a thick trunk now and it's very short in height. So that's kind of the look I want. I want them to resemble the giant African baobab trees. So they're slowly kind of taking on that form. The larch forest is showing a little bit more of the fall colors. It's getting a lighter shade of green. And some of these lower branches you can see are getting quite yellow, which is pretty cool. And some of the trees, like the one at the back here, it's getting a bit more yellowing on it. But yeah, beautiful trees in their fall colors. After we finished the tour of the bonsai zone today, I took them down to see the Royal Oak because I knew there was still going to be acorns on it, and there was. I collected a few more. And I gave them some of my other acorns I collected when Leshek was down. And I got a bit of a surprise when I opened the bag. It was in a plastic bag, all my acorns. 
about 75% of them had a little white root growing out and some of them had like multiple roots growing out of the bottom of the acorn so they're already germinating and starting to grow so tomorrow it's getting late in the evening now tomorrow morning I'm going to plant all my royal oaks and get them going I'll uh, keep them warm over the winter and I found even though they should be resting now if you grow them over the winter they kind of don't do much the next summer because they're kind of I don't know they need a period of dormancy I guess so then when fall comes you know they go dormant and then the next year you have an outstanding year of growth they get back on schedule so yeah my other two royal oaks they were also germinated in winter and went through the same process of kind of sulking in the summer then but then the next year after a good cold winter rest they grew like normal and uh, are doing really well today so tomorrow morning we'll start planting those I gave both Derek and Jay some of the Royal Oak acorns that I collected with Leshik that had the roots coming out and when we visited the tree they collected a few more to take home with them and uh, I hope they have good luck uh, Jay mentioned he might plant one as a full-size tree in his backyard so that'd be kind of exciting because they naturally have nice small oak shaped leaves on them I've got the adenium the desert rose in the plant room here I still can't get over the size of it I'm just blown away it's huge so here's the ficus for the auction you can see all the shoots coming out on those branches now they're starting to get leaves on them so it's looking really good I even noticed just today that on the trunk here right up front there's a little bud coming out with some greenery on it so it's starting to back bud on some of the older wood which is quite exciting the adenium has a tag on it and it says super midnight fairy so I don't know if that's like a, a particular color of flower or you know a variety of adenium I'll have to look that up here's a look at the royal oak acorns that germinated in the plastic bag here so if you look in here I hope you can see all the white roots yeah all the white roots coming out of the acorns so I've got to plant those tomorrow get them growing and I'll have them in the plant room here where it's nice and warm and they should they should do all right I think I left my cashew trees out too long in the cold uh, they never froze but they didn't like the cooler temperatures I noticed as it was getting towards fall that the leaves were kind of going speckly like that and they were looking good and I thought oh well you know once they go in the plant room and warm up they'll recover and now I'm wondering if I left them out too late so they might be like the uh, kapok trees that they can't take you know cooler temperatures anything below maybe 10 degrees Celsius so yeah they're not looking good I'm hoping they recover we will see my Delonyx Regia here the one that I did the really hard root prune on the leaves are kind of curling up and falling off but they weren't looking good at all either they didn't like the cold normally they would lose the leaves but it's still green up top in that so I think it's okay I think the roots will recover uh, now that it's in the warmth I'm hoping it thinks it's spring it stimulates you know the roots to grow and then hopefully the top will grow once again I'll just give it a little misting while I'm here help it along miss the cashews too poor things I think they got too cold the cashews are from the country Laos and I don't think they get very cold temperatures there so they might be done for I'm hoping not but I'm hoping that they start growing from the base of the trunk and that we'll see we'll see and speaking of kapox I've got them in the plant room here and they're doing really well you can see there's new growth on it uh, the cutting is still doing well down here it's just in water still I think oh yeah it's starting to grow roots see that so that's cool I can put that in a pot soon and I'll try and regenerate my kapox from these cuttings 
trying to, uh, you know, grow a nice specimen tree, maybe even another forest. I'll see. This time I know, like the cashews, don't let them get even cool. They've got to stay warm and happy. Otherwise they just die. I'm going to soak the acorns from the Royal Oak in water overnight. They do have a root sticking out, but I'm just worried that if that shell's too hard, that the tree may not be able to split that shell and, and come out. So I'm going to soak them overnight to soften that outer shell up and then plant them tomorrow morning. I've got a couple of small trays here. I'll fill them with water and then put as many seeds in here as I can. Now I'll get the seeds and give them a soaking. Some of the roots are quite long on them. The roots come out the bottom of the acorn, so the little cap would be on top here. So just the way they hang on the tree is the way you plant them with the pointy end down and the place where the cap was up in the pot. Look at the root on that one, it's a curly root. I really kept my eye on the Royal Oak tree. They only get an abundance of seeds about every four years. So it was nice, this was the year where there's lots of acorns on the tree. And the tree isn't looking that good. So I'm worried that, you know, it's eventually going to decline in health and die. So I wanted to get lots of royal oaks on the go while the mother tree is still alive. This acorn has some chew marks on the top by a squirrel, but it's still rooting. I think it'll do okay. Here's one with two roots growing out the bottom. So almost all the seeds I picked have germinated. It's amazing. The other advantage of germinating these in the winter time is that the seedlings will get quite tall before you have to put them outside and there's less of a chance that the squirrels will steal all the acorns. Now, even when the seedlings are growing and the acorn is still attached to it, the squirrels will still dig them up because I had a whole tray full of these and the squirrels dug them all up even though they had germinated and were growing. So you still got to be careful that first year until you can separate the acorn or the nut part from your seedling. I always imagine Scrat from Ice Age, how Scrat loves those acorns and that's what I imagine the squirrels think of these acorns. So if you picture that, they'll do anything to get them. Even the ones that don't have a root sticking out, I can see they're starting to split at the bottom. So the root will be coming shortly. So I'm putting those in the water too. There's one of the caps off the acorn, so that would sit. That would sit on the top like that, and then the root comes out the bottom. So that's how you plant them. Here's a look at all the acorns I put in water that have roots coming out of the bottom of them. And now I've got to get another container and put all the rest of them in water too. Any acorns that float, you can discard because they're no good if they have air in them. But all the ones that sink should germinate. And a lot of these might root by tomorrow morning. Uh, some of them were very close. You can see the crack in the end and a little bit of white sticking out. Okay, that is it. All the Royal Oak acorns are soaking in water, ready for planting tomorrow. Now, originally when I germinated these, I put them in just regular potting soil. It was actually that kind of horse manure soil I got. And they all germinated and grew really well on that. I haven't tried them in bonsai soil, like not straight away. When I did repot them from the you know, the manure type compost into the bonsai soil, they really grew well. So they definitely grow well in bonsai soil. So I think I'll be planting these straight into bonsai soil because they have the root already going. And once that root gets into the bonsai soil, it's got good air, good hydration, you can put fertilizer on it, and it should grow really well in bonsai soil. So I'll try it. If they don't look like they're doing well, well, I've learned something. I brought the Ming Aurelia in for the night. I know they're not uh, that cold tolerant, so I thought I better keep it nice and warm in the plant room here. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning after the acorns have soaked overnight. 
Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I'm ready to plant my Royal Oak acorns. I've got everything ready here. I'll show you that. I've got everything ready for planting. I have all my seeds soaking in water up here. I've got these small root maker pots that Tom from Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors sent to me. I've got Connor's pond baskets here. I promise I'll give them back to you, Connor. <laughs> And I've got a seed tray over here and a small pot here. And I'm hoping that's enough to, you know, get all the acorns planted, but I'm kind of doubting it because I counted the ones last night that had just the roots coming out of them. And I think there was 58 of them. That's a lot of oak trees. It is a super nice day outside today. A high of, I think, 13 degrees Celsius. That's not bad for November. So let's head outside and get these oak acorns planted. I was telling everyone on the tour yesterday that I thought these oaks were three years old. It turns out that they're five years old. I went back and checked the playlist for them and yeah, they're five years old now. The pot that these oaks are in is a 3D printed pot and you can download the 3D file from Thingiverse and print it out yourself. I'm going to plant the acorns in the root maker pots first. The root maker pots don't have much in way of screening in the bottom. I'll show you up close. Here's a look at a root maker pot and you can see if you put bonsai soil in here, the holes are really big and it'll just fall out. Uh, some people have suggested putting a coffee filter in there, a uh, newspaper, I don't know. Uh, I think what I'm going to do what I did last time is I just scooped it in the bonsai soil and just kind of shook it until, you know, the pine bark or whatever kind of fills the holes up and it stops falling out the bottom. Let's try that. All right, here I go. I'll try filling it up, shake it a bit. Yeah, it holds the soil. So it's not leaking out the bottom, so that's good. Now I can plant the first acorn in the pot. All right, here I go. I'll start with the one with a really long root. So I'll feed that root down in there. Like that. Try not to break it. I'm sure even if you broke that root off, it would still grow. Okay, now I've got to get the actual acorn kind of planted. Mm, maybe I'll pile up a bit of soil on top. I'll give it a water now. I'll work away finishing up planting the root maker pots and then we'll come back and plant the pond baskets. I found the best method for planting is just to fill the root maker pot halfway up and then I get my, my acorn and I get the root planted in there like that. And then you just fill the pot the rest of the way up. Like that, and then water it, and it's all set to go. In space, no one can hear you scream. So I'm just covering up all the acorns now. And as long as I keep them away from the squirrels, they should do quite well. There's probably a squirrel watching me right now. I'll move all the newly planted acorns into the glass greenhouse for today because it's nice and warm. And then when it starts cooling down tonight, I'll move them into the plant room. These mesh pots can be bought at any indoor growth store like the Indoor Farmer, you know, stores like that. I'll only fill the pots to about here. I'm not after a really deep root system. I'm more after kind of getting a fine fibrous root system. So that tap root will go down, hit the mesh at the bottom of the pot and hopefully subdivide and create a nice root system. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to plant in here. Maybe, you know, eight maybe, I'm not sure. I think that's a good height. In go the acorns. I'll plant one on the corner here. I'll just bury them. I'll get them covered up now. That should be good. 
Then I'll give them a water. That's one pond basket planted. I'll plant the other one and then we'll move on to the seed tray. I planted this basket a little more densely. We'll see how they do. It's time to plant the seed tray next. I've got 16 more acorns that have the roots coming out the bottom. So this should be plenty, plenty big enough for them. Because these seed trays are so floppy, I always like to put a piece of plywood underneath them. So then when you pick it up, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't flop around and disturb the roots at all. So it gives a nice firm base. So I'll get these acorns planted in here now. And I may even have room for some of the ones that didn't have a root coming out the bottom. Some of the ones that I freshly collected. That one doesn't have a root coming out the bottom. That one's just starting. These oaks do have a strong central tap root. So I usually cut it in half the tap root when I'm root pruning the first time. And then you just develop your radial root system from there. Okay, so I can fit a few more in here. All right, I'll get some more acorns planted here. These show no signs of roots yet. Some of them were just freshly collected yesterday. So again, you've got to orient them the right way around. So we were talking the other day when we were collecting these seeds and we're hoping, you know, your, the seeds, the seedlings off of the parent tree don't always have the same characteristics. You know, the, the parent tree had a really small leaves. So we're hoping, you know, by planting a whole bunch of these that some of them naturally have smaller leaves than others. And those are the ones that'll make the really good bonsai. So I'm going to, I'm going to plant a, this quite dense because I don't really want to get rid of all these acorns. I want to plant as many as I can, have some backups. And then once they start growing with some vigor, we can kind of start separating the ones I want to keep, give some away, that kind of thing. It's a good thing I mixed up lots of soil the other day because I'm using a lot of it today. Okay, I think that's good. I'll just level it off and give it a water. These are the leftover acorns from the Royal Oak. I'm going to give these to the squirrel. I'll put them on the fence and they can maybe plant them and maybe I'll get an English Oak growing in the backyard. I was out on my morning walk in the natural area the other day and there's these new oak trees that were planted probably 10 years ago. And for the first time they had acorns on them. So that was kind of exciting. And the reason I like them so much is they have a really rough bark on them, even though they're young trees. And the leaf size is quite small. It's not, it's not super small like the uh, English oaks, but it's in between, you know, well, it's about this big. And uh, so I was kind of excited to get some of these acorns. So I collected, there weren't very many on the tree. There was one, two, three, four, maybe four. So I'll plant those. I'm going to plant them in this new pot that Tom from Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors sent me. I think it's a good size. And I'm going to keep them in the greenhouse all winter so they'll get that natural cold cycle and hopefully germinate in spring. Okay, into the pot they go. These ones are floating, but I'm going to plant them anyway. I'll just check them over. Make sure there's no holes in them or anything. They look okay. They rattle inside, so I think they're okay. There's a, definitely a seed in there. So again, I'll plant them with the uh, with this end down, like they grow on the tree. So I'm hoping to get some cool oak trees out of these. There's a cap that came off it. Let me just show you that. So. Yeah, that's what they look like with the cap on. Maybe that, maybe someone can recognize what kind of oak tree it is. But it was a really cool, had really cool bark on it. So, oh, that's it, eh? just the four. Maybe I'll space them out a little more. Oops, put that one the wrong way up. We'll put them like that. 
and I'll put a bit of topsoil on them and give them a water. Into the greenhouse they go. Here's a look at all the acorns that I planted today. I'll have oak trees coming out of my ears. It was great having Jay, James and Derek down the other day touring the bonsai zone and collecting acorns. Derek even let me drive his FJ Cruiser, which was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>